Hello and welcome to a short video about customizing XBMC. This time we will be focusing on the very popular skin called Aeon Nox. This video will show you how to customize the main menu of XBMC, such as backgrounds, removing or adding items, and how to customize the views of your TV and movie library. Finally, it will show you how to better organize your movies by utilizing movie sets to group movies together. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to customize the main menu by being able to move parts of the items around that are on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into System, and then I'm going to go into the Skin setting, and then into the Customizer. And there I'm going to pick Customize Home Window Furniture, which is going to let us move the items around. So here you have to highlight whichever item you want to move, hit Enter, and then you can move it around by simply changing the menu above. As you can see, there's a couple different items you can move. You can move the RSS feed at the bottom, you can move the main menu bar, or you can even move the bar that has the temperature in it and the date. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the date bar to the top, and I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to go back out of this menu. So with the new version of XBMC 12, there was a couple new items added to the main menus, notably main uh, live TV and also the TV guide. Um, for those of you who don't have live TV or who don't have the TV guide, what you can actually do is you can go ahead and remove these. So while you're still in the system skin um, customizer menu, there's an option in there that you can use to customize this a little bit further and remove some of these items. So what I'll be doing here is I'll be showing you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is click on main menu item customizer and then you have to wait a little bit for it to load. And once it loads, it will actually show you all the items that are on the main menu. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go find the item that you don't want. In this case here, I'm going to pick Live TV and hit Enter on it. And then all you have to do is simply disable it by hitting Enter again and hit Exit by hitting Escape. So that'll disable Live TV. You can do that with any other sections like the TV Guide or if you don't want the Features items. Um, I usually don't like those things because they are kind of annoying to scroll through. So what I end up doing is I just go ahead and remove them. You can also change the background for any of the items in XBMC by simply staying in the same menu where we just at and clicking on the item and then choosing Choose Background. At that point in time you can either pick single image, multi image or a variety of other things. Just browse to the artwork that you want. In this case I'm going to pick the fan art for Inception and select it. So as you may have seen while I was going through some of the other steps, there's actually sections in there that are called custom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what you can do there is you can actually add your own shortcuts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a shortcut to the YouTube plugin by simply picking um, choose type. And I want to use a video add-on here. And I had already downloaded the YouTube add-on. So I'm simply going to pick it here and then enable this. And what that's going to do is it's going to add the YouTube add-on as a shortcut on the main menu. So from there on, anytime you want to use YouTube, you can simply click on the thing on the, or you can simply click on the link on the main menu and you'll be taken straight to the YouTube add-on, which is really handy. Sometimes what you might want to do is create a custom item on the XBMC main menu that brings you directly to all your kids' movies or maybe all your comedy TV shows. And you can do that by leveraging what's called a playlist. To create a playlist, all you have to do is go into the video section of XBMC and set up your playlist there with a couple different filters. And then um, all you do is create a custom item that links to the playlist, like I'm going to show you here. You simply go up to Choose Type, you're going to pick Video Playlist, and then you're going to pick the playlist you already created. In this case, I created one called Comedy Shows, and the menu label is a little bit long, so I'm going to make it shorter and call it Comedies, and then just hit Enter. So now whenever you go to the main menu and click on this item, it's going to only show you your comedy shows. I think one of the coolest things about XBMC is how you can view all the content that you have in your libraries. So what I'm going to show you here is how you can change how it's viewed. So here the default view is list, and what I'm going to do is hit left twice, click on list, and then go down to the info wall. And this is a different view that gives you the um, gives you a poster of all the shows that you have, shows you how many unwatched shows you have, and then gives you a little description on the right. There's also another one called landscape, which gives you a slightly different view. And what I'm going to show you here is how you can actually customize this view type by going back to the view type settings. And then you can change some of the things on the screen here by simply changing some of these options. So um, what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to change under view type, I'm going to change the icon. And you can change it to show you different things, like a logo that you can download from the internet. Or you can view all everything as a logo. Or you can get clear art from the internet, and that will be displayed that way. So you can really customize these view types to however you see fit and however you like them. Just play around with them and give it a whirl. 
You can do the same thing that we just did in the TV library with your movie library by changing the view types there. And one of the reasons why I like XBMC so much is because of the rich fan art. So um, I really used to like the big fan view, which gave you a lot of fan art in the background and then like a small poster of the movie on the bottom. And another one that I liked a whole lot was um, Shift, which I'll show you here in just a second. So this is kind of how big fan works. Um, the one downside that I found to Big Fan is if you have a lot of movies, it takes forever to scroll through stuff, but it looks really nice. So I found Shift, which is a nice compromise, and it gives you a little bit bigger um, posters. But what you can do is, um, as I'll show you here in just a second, you can go back into the options and actually set the view type to um, show you a smaller Shift view, which will shrink the posters down a little bit and give you more of the fan art, which I like so much. Again, um, play around with this here and see what you like. So another great thing about Aeon Nox is that it leverages a bunch of artwork that's crowdsourced and created by other people on the internet. And as you've seen when I was changing some of the view types in the TV settings earlier, you'll notice that there's um, a logo there for the Americans, but not for Archer. So what you can do here is by simply going into the TV sections and scrolling over to the right and clicking on um, Get Artwork, it will actually use an add-on that comes with Aeon Nox to download all the artwork that you need. And it'll tell you right there, see I downloaded six, so no, Archer has a logo. And you can do the same thing for all the other shows. There's also a way how you can do it for all of them at once. Um, and you can also pick and choose. So if you don't necessarily like the logo that you get, um, you can actually go in there and say, no, I don't want to auto download. I just want to pick it. And it'll show you all the logos that are out there. Pick the logo you want and um, simply apply it. And that's how you can get the artwork that you want for each show the way you want it. Finally, one of the new things you can do with XBMC is also group movies into sets. So if you have all the Harry Potter movies, or let's say all the Indiana Jones movies, um, XBMC is actually smart enough to figure out that you can that these are all movies that belong together and you can combine these into sets. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back into the um, system settings, I'm going to go to video, and th there's an option there that says um, group movies into sets. Turn that option on and go back into your movie library, and what you'll notice is um, before I had three movies that were Evangelion movies, and uh, I had a couple other movies that were um, only one, so now you'll see Evangelion collection there instead of the three individual movies, and you'll see an Eden of the East collection. Click on that, and there's your three movies. So now you get all the movies that you have um, combined into one set, and it's much easier to see them that way, and it'll shrink down how many things you have to scroll through in your library too. So what I showed you here is really just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much you can do with these skins, um, and each one of them is different. You can customize them in different ways. I really, really like Aeon Nox because there's a lot of flexibility built in there. Um, if you want to play around with it a little bit, what I usually do is I change a lot of the backgrounds, and I customize the menu a little bit to make it fit the way I wanted to. And then I played around with the view types a lot because, to me, that's what XBMC is all about. I really like how it presents you the fan art. I really like how it presents you your collection of stuff. And that's what gives it the wow factor that I really, really like. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, or if you want to know maybe a little bit more about that playlist thing I talked about, um, post up a comment down below or um, check out my blog if you're interested. It's uh, xbmcstuff.tumblr.com. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for this time. Uh, catch me again on another video. All right, have a good day. Take care. Bye.